It is that time of year again already. It's time to start preparing the kids to go back to school. Thank you for joining us for ABC Action News streaming now. I'm Dia Riley and I'm James Tully. We're here for you. We want to make sure that you and your kids are prepared to head back to the classroom. Students in Hillsborough County head back to school on August 12th. Yeah, August 12th. Almost every school though has a different set of supplies. We scoured the list of many schools to come up with some basic things that your elementary and middle schoolers may need. Scissors, glue sticks, pencils, headphones and crayons are almost all Always on the list. Also, don't forget things for the classroom items like disinfectant wipes, tissues and band aids. Those are really good to make sure that you keep those in stock in the supply closet. Here at the digital dashboard, we have a compiled list of school supplies for every Hillsborough County school. Just head to abcactionnews.com slash back to school. And as the debate over school start times continues across the county, Hillsborough County is pushing back start times at some schools by 10 minutes. The news comes after many buses were having issues getting to their routes on time last year. Also new this year, Hillsborough County will continue its early release Mondays, but only for part of the year. Students will be released one hour early every Monday through October 7th. Now there won't be any early release Mondays in November or December, and then after winter break, they'll start up again every Monday through the end of the year. Bus stops for students are up by the beginning of August. You'll be able to find out the times that your child will be picked up, dropped off, and where the best of the bus stop is located. But keep in mind, be patient for the first few weeks of school while bus drivers get used to their routes. District officials say buses can be 30 minutes to an hour late during the first two weeks of school. You can find all of that information on our website. So over the summer, Hillsborough County worked on nearly two dozen middle schools to make your kids walk to school safer. Public Works installed those flashing beacons and crosswalks at some schools to make sure drivers are aware of kids crossing the road. In some areas, they also added sidewalks around the school zone. ABC Action News has been following unsafe school zones for the past year as part of our commitment to help drive Tampa Bay forward. And more good news for parents with students in middle school. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office will now have crossing guards at most middle schools. Earlier this year, Commissioner Stacy White called for an expansion of the program. The Sheriff's Office is working to fill 78 positions at 37 middle schools. All right, now let's check in with Sarah Finney for a quick reminder on the roadways. With back to school right around the corner, that means much more traffic during your morning and evening commute. Remember this, if a bus is on a two lane road, vehicles in both directions must stop. When you see a bus on a multi lane road that is paved across, drivers going in both directions need to stop then too. But if you are traveling on a divided highway, vehicles behind the bus need to stop. However, cars in the opposite direction should drive cautiously. If you pass a moving school bus, you could be slapped with a moving violation, get points on your license, and a minimum fine of $160. $65. If you pass on the side where kids get on and off the bus, it's even worse, $265. For traffic updates during your morning commute, follow Tampa Bay Traffic on Twitter. James Dia. There, it's always good to know that. Hillsborough County Schools also using your tax dollars to make upgrades inside some schools. In November, voters passed a half cent sales tax to go directly to schools. This year, some kids will be walking into schools with brand new air conditioners, brand new playgrounds, and refurbished floors. So far, the district's received more than $40 million and spent almost $20 million. If your child is eating lunch at school, you can find every menu online. Each day it's updated between breakfast and lunch so you know exactly what's available for your child. Remember, all students get free breakfast every day in Hillsborough County Schools, but your child might also qualify for free or reduced, reduced price lunch. You can apply online or call the number that's on your screen. For thousands of kids, this will be their first year entering a classroom. And for many of them, this will be their first time away from mom or dad. A Hillsborough County kindergarten teacher has three tips to make sure that your child is prepared. First one, dress your child in clothing that they can take easily on and off in case there's an accident. When packing lunches, don't pack anything that they may have a hard time opening. For instance, practice putting the straw in the juice box with your child. Yeah, make sure they know their full name and how they're getting home in the afternoon. So important. And for middle school parents, there's advice for you too. The transition can be difficult into sixth grade. The four key points. Number one, communicate with your students teachers. Also learn about Edsby and how you can get an account. This is where you'll find students grades and test scores and where you can also get help for homework and be an involved parent. Ask your student every day how their day was and don't ever accept one word answers. Also just a reminder, Hillsborough County Schools does need a record of immunizations for your kids. You'll need to provide documentation that your child has those updated vaccines. 
We have those uh, full details on our website. Don't forget you can find your full back to school guide on abcactionnews.com slash back to school. We'll be here for you as your kids go back to school and all year long. And I'll be here for your up to the minute traffic updates. And I'll have your back to school forecast. We'll see you on Good Morning Tampa Bay starting at 5 a.m.